For many parents and teachers, it may feel like kids have been learning from home for an eternity. Some students won't return to the classroom for another 10 weeks, but the government has now revealed its back-to-schools plan. The HSC will be delayed and start dates will be staggered. Even children in kindergarten will be working from the kitchen table until late October. Masks will be compulsory for some and school staff will need to get a jab. There was a fall in the number of new cases today, 882, and another man in his 90s has died. Education officials are saying the return to school will depend on how many infections there are in certain areas. For many families, the pressure of learning in lockdown has made life a bit tense. So this mum pitched a creative solution, setting up a classroom in the backyard. When Gladys announced that it was going to be another month at least in lockdown, it was like, hey, what can we do to make this more fun? Up went the ten. <laughs> Under the new plan, Kelly Daly's younger son will be among the first back to school if COVID cases in the area drop substantially. There's a level of relief that there's a plan, but there's just a level of worry still about protecting your kids and your family. Providing some protection, a no jab, no job policy. School staff must soon have both shots. And we'll be supporting them and assisting them by having a special day for teachers. We have almost 70% of our workforce having already received one dose of the vaccination and close to 40% being double dosed already, which is really encouraging. The teachers' union says until now, calls to prioritise its members have fallen on deaf ears. Here we are, three weeks before the end of term, and we still have very large numbers of teachers who are experiencing difficulties to access the vaccine. This plan is dependent on the caseload in each LGA. So if a region comes out of lockdown, kids can go back to school straight away. But if case numbers are still too high in an area by October and November, home learning will continue. And that's a real possibility in some of the current councils of concern. What is the, the criteria for those students to return back to school? So the first threshold will be that they are no longer classified as an LGA of concern. The HSC will go ahead, albeit a bit late. You will be able to do written exams, that you will be able to get an ATAR. If you want to go to university, you will be able to do that. The principal of St Clair's in Blacktown believes students in the worst hit areas are severely disadvantaged. Some concession has to be made for the experiences that these students are going through. Anyone who's worked with students under these conditions, I don't think they'd have any doubt in saying it's just not fair. Pupils are looking for the positives. Alyssa Dang is thankful for the extra time to study. I think what I've learned is that you just got to adapt and I feel like that's like a good skill in the future. There's no doubt the class of 2021 will be graduating with honours in resilience. Kathleen Calderwood, ABC News, Sydney. There's a lot of detail in the plan. Rani Heyman is here to explain some of it. Rani, many parents were still sifting through the finer points of exactly when students can go back to school. Jeremy, it will depend on what grade they're in. The first students will return to school in the last week of October. That's those in kindergarten, year one and year 12. A week later, years two, six and 11 will join them. And on the 8th of November, everyone will be back in the classroom. HSC exams have been delayed to that same week. Even when school does go back, it'll look a little different. There'll be no sport, choirs, assemblies or excursions. High school students and all staff must wear masks and those in primary school will be encouraged to do the same. Now there's a caveat to this whole plan and it's a big one. If there are 50 cases infectious in the community per 100,000 people in a council area on a particular day, students cannot return to school. So if an LGA reaches that threshold, remote learning will continue, Jeremy.